Welcome to day 18 of our mobility series and again this week we're working on the hips and the lower back and our first exercise today is going to be another combination movement like yesterday and we're going to go into basically a downward dog movement with a leg extended up and then go driving into a spider-man lunge and adding a twist so if you come down to the floor with me we're going to go into our downward dog position trying to keep the back as straight as you can probably get a stretch to the calves there and then we're going to extend one leg up into the air and then we're going to come forward and bring that foot as far forward as you can. And what I want you to look for is I want to make sure that almost think about this hip and this knee are driving forward up towards my shoulder so that what this does is it squares up my hips. Okay. And then from there, we're going to plant this outside of the hand and we're going to twist into that front leg as far as you can, open up and then come back. And then we go back into the downward dog on the other side. So you push back, in here, bring the leg up, and then come into that nice deep Spider-Man lunge. And one thing as well, before you start your twist, we want to talk about that breathing, right? You want to breathe out, set the rib cage, and then go through that twist. Because otherwise, if we don't set the rib cage, we're just going to, I can twist so much further, but I'm not focusing on strengthening through that range. Press that rib cage down, open up, and then push back into that downward dog and switching sides. And that's your first mobility exercise for today. The next exercise for today is called the rocking frog stretch. Um, I just think of it as, as a goalie stretch because this is what you see a lot of hockey goalies doing when they're on the ice and warming up. And it's really, really good for the groin and those that have tight adductor muscles. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to be on all fours and you're going to separate the legs with the toes pointing straight outward. Okay, so that's kind of the position that you want to be in. And here, one thing that we don't want to avoid doing is we don't want to arch the back here, so we want to tuck the bum under. We want to set the rib cage, breathe out, set that rib cage, and essentially we want to keep that back as neutral as we can as we sink back. And as we go back, this is where we're going to feel a nice deep stretch. And we want to exhale if you can as you're going back, so we go. As you're going back, that helps set the rib cage, that helps keep the, the pelvis and the hips neutral. And then we can come out of it and then sit back into it a little bit deeper, breathing out as you sink deeper, and then going back and forth there. Hold it there for a good few seconds. And then come forward and just slowly, slowly get a little bit deeper each time. This really, really helps to open up the adductors. You can find too, if you walk it out forward, you can also get a slightly different area on the front of the hips there, and the adductors in a slightly different spot and you can come forward all the way and get a different stretch there as well. And that is your second movement for today. 